So if you've watched the previous two lessons in this series, you should now have your AdWords account set up and know a little bit about how to navigate and edit your account. Hi, my name's Joanne and I'm an account strategist at Google. In this final part of the Getting Started Guide, we're going to take a look at how you can set up your account for success with AdWords and point out some handy tips and hints from the AdWords professionals. Here's the agenda for this session. We'll first cover how ads are ranked and how to create top quality advertising. We'll then take a look at how you can review your ad performance and finally how you can see which visits to your site are resulting in sales. At the end of this session, you should have a good grasp of how to understand and improve your account performance. Firstly, you should understand a little bit about how ads are ranked and the importance of creating really targeted advertising with AdWords. Let's take a look at one of the most important aspects of AdWords, ad quality. Ad quality underpins how AdWords works and is a major factor in determining where your ad will appear in the search results. Let me explain a little more about how ads are ranked to help you understand the importance of quality advertising with AdWords. The position of ads on the search page, which is known as ad rank, can be seen numbered here. This ad rank is determined by two factors, the maximum cost per click, CPC, bid you set in your account and your quality score. Your quality score is a score determined by the AdWords system based on a number of things that tell the system how relevant your ads are and whether Google users find them useful. In simple terms, the more useful and relevant your ads are, the higher their quality score. AdWords uses this quality score to make sure that the ads that are shown are useful to Google users. Think about how you search on Google. When you search for something, you want to find exactly what you're looking for quickly and easily. All users are the same, so by making sure your ads are relevant to the user's query and the site they get to when they click on your ad has what they're looking for, it will increase your quality as well as your overall success with AdWords. Quality score is determined by a number of factors and is dynamic, so changes over time. This means you have freedom to constantly improve your account to learn from what works and improve your quality to make your AdWords account as successful as possible. So, how do you create quality advertising? The first step is to make sure your account is organised correctly. We showed you this diagram in the last lesson and it shows how your AdWords account is structured. This structure enables you to really target your advertising and make your ads specific and relevant. If you sell multiple products on your site, you should think about splitting out each product area into a separate ad group. If your site is more complex, you can create new campaigns for each larger theme or goal and then split each campaign into more specific ad groups. It's often a good idea to look at your website structure to help you structure your AdWords account. For example, this garden centre site has three sections on the website, seeds, plants and outdoor buildings. So if you are advertising this site, you could create a new campaign for each of these sections, which will allow you to have a separate budget for each of these areas. Within each campaign, you could have a separate ad group for each product area. So, for example, in the seeds campaign, he could have a flower seeds ad group, a grass seeds ad group, and a vegetable seeds ad group. Each of these ad groups will have very specific keywords and ads. So, when a user searches for grass seeds, they'll see this ad which is directly related to their search. And when they click on the ad, they'll be directly taken to the page of the site about grass seeds. Why not review your website today and decide how to organise your AdWords account so your ads are as specific and relevant as possible? So let's take our grass seeds example to explain keywords and ads and how you can use the ad group structure to create top-notch advertising. Firstly, keywords. When writing your keyword list, think about how your potential customers would search for the product or service you're promoting. 
Remember the keywords people use when searching on Google are often more than one word and in general we find that two or three keywords work best. With keywords, you need to keep them specific to the ad group and product you're promoting and don't forget to include any product or brand names as well as plurals. A small group of targeted keywords is far better than a large group of untargeted keywords. The number of keywords in each ad group will vary depending on your product or service but as a rule of thumb, try to aim between 5 and 50 keywords in each ad group. When writing your ads for each ad group, remember to include a few important things. Include the product you're promoting in the title of your ad text. Include any special offers or promotions. What will make your ad stand out from your competitors? Include a call to action. What do you want your potential customers to do on your site? Here, we want them to order online today. And make sure the destination URL of your ad is the right page of your site and not simply your home page. Here, we want to take users to the Grass Seeds page of the site. So a user looking to buy can do so quickly and easily. Just these few simple tips will help your ads reach the right audience with the right message. But if you want even more tips to help improve your AdWords account, there are other webinars you can watch that will take you through more detail. I'll let you know where these are at the end of this lesson. So now we've looked at how to create good quality advertising, let's take a quick look at how you can review your AdWords account and understand a bit about how your account is working. As the online world is constantly changing, it's important that you review your account on a regular basis to understand how your account is working and if you're meeting your business goals. A quick check once a week will help you to ensure your budget is being spent in the right areas and you're making the most of your advertising spend. So whenever you want to review your account, simply log in at adwords.google.com using your email address and password. On your Campaigns tab, change the date range to the period of time you want to review, say last month. You can then review your statistics on each tab here to understand how your ads and keywords are performing. If you have a few campaigns and ad groups, Review the overall performance of each ad group first on the Ad Groups tab. Firstly, you'll probably want to take a look at costs. How much has each ad group cost you over the last period? You can sort your ad groups by which has cost the most by clicking on the column heading. You can then look at a couple of metrics to help you understand how each ad group is performing. One statistic you may want to look at here is your CTR, or click-through rate. This tells you the percentage of people who clicked on your ad in each ad group after they saw it and will give you a quick understanding of how relevant your ads are to those people searching on your keywords. You can also look at your average position to see where on the search page your ads are appearing. There are up to 11 ads shown on each search page, so if your position is more than 11, your ads are, on average, not appearing on the first page of results. I suggest here you take a look at both your top performing ad groups and also those that are not performing as well. What is it about the top performing ad groups that is working? Can you learn from these ad groups to help improve your ad groups that are not performing well? To review the details of each ad group, click on the ad group name. You will then see the keywords and ads within that ad group. This is the Lava Lamp ad group, which is promoting the sale of lava lamps in our Google Store. This view shows us all of the keywords in this ad group and the performance of each keyword. You'll also be able to see in this view the status of each keyword. If there's an issue with any of your keywords, you'll see a message in the status column. In this example, we have two keywords with low search volume. Clicking on the question mark icon will tell you a little more about what this means. 
If you want to try to improve this ad group, you can try adding some keywords by clicking on the Add Keywords button to build on those that are working well within the ad group. Again, some indicators of good performance of keywords are the CTR and average position. Equally, if some of your keywords have not been performing well for a while, you may want to pause or delete them by checking the box next to the relevant keywords and change status. You should then take a quick look at how your ads are performing on the Ads tab of the relevant ad group. You can have more than one ad in each ad group, and if you do this, the AdWords system will rotate your ads to learn what Google users like best. With AdWords default settings, the system will determine which ads perform the best and show them more often. So you can get an understanding of the performance by looking at the percentage served column here. In this ad group, we have three ads and we can compare the performance of the ads from the percentage served, clicks, impressions, CTR and cost. You will also see the status column here, which will tell you if your ads are approved and eligible to show. All ads go through a review to check they comply with AdWords policies. Some ads won't run until they've been through this review, and the status here will tell you whether they've been reviewed and approved. So to understand what ad text works with your customers, it's a good idea to test a couple of different ads in each ad group. This will give you a good understanding of what your customers respond to. The results are sometimes surprising. Often, just changing the ad title can have dramatic results. Create a new ad by clicking on the New Ad button here. And once you learn from your results, you can delete or pause those ads that are not performing as well by clicking on the Change Status button. The Networks tab will show you how your ads are performing on the search and content networks. If you are opted into showing your ads on the content network with automatic placements, you'll be able to see the performance of your ads on all sites by clicking on the Show Detail link here. Here you can see where your ad has been shown and the statistics for each site. If you find some of these sites are very useful, you can manage the placement by clicking on the checkboxes beside the site and clicking the Manage Placement and Bid button. This allows you to specify CPC bids for each site. So if a site is performing well, you may want to specify a higher CPC bid than for other sites. Equally, if you find a site in this list that you do not want your ads to appear on, you can click on the check boxes beside each site and click the Exclude Placements button. You can exclude placements here on either a campaign or ad group level, and this means your ads will no longer appear on that site. So now we've seen how you can assess your ad performance and add keywords, ads and placements to enhance the performance or delete those that are not working so well. Remember, you should always aim to make your advertising specific and always try to put yourself in your potential customer's shoes. And you should try to log into your account on a regular basis to understand how it's working and tweak your account accordingly. Reviewing your account, as we've described, will give you a granular level of your account and really help you to understand your account dynamics. But the statistics in your account will only show you what an advertiser does to get to your site. If you want to understand which ads, keywords and networks are turning your visitors into customers, you can do so simply by using our free conversion tracking tool from directly within your account. Conversion tracking will show you which of the clicks on your AdWords ads actually lead to customers on your site doing something you want them to. For example, buying something, or signing up to a newsletter, or filling in a form. Once activated, you'll be able to see from directly within your account which ads, keywords and sites have led to customers completing these actions on your site. This will help you with assigning your budget to campaigns, and you can also tweak your ads and keywords dependent on what's working. Here's what you will see in your account once you've activated conversion tracking. So on the Keywords tab for this ad group, 
we can see how many conversions each keyword has produced, how much each conversion on average has cost us over the period, and the conversion rate, how often a click is turning into a conversion. It's simple to install, but you will need to access your website HTML code. To activate conversion tracking, click on the Reporting tab in your account and click Conversions. You should then click on New Conversion. You will need to name your conversion and select a category such as Sale or Lead. Then click Save and Continue. Once you've completed this step, you then just need to confirm a couple of settings. Once you've completed this step, you will be given a snippet of code which you then need to put on your conversion page. This code should be put on the page after the one where your conversion happens. So if you want to track sales, this code should be put on your confirmation page. That is the one that says, thanks for making a purchase. If you don't have access to your HTML code yourself, you can email this code to your webmaster who will be able to add the right page. Just click on the link at the bottom of the page that reads send conversion tracking code to somebody else. As soon as you've added this code to your site, you'll start to track conversions in your AdWords account.